Hi everyone, this is Ashwan. Today we are going to discuss about the pulse modulation techniques. As we all know, pulse modulation techniques is of two types. Pulse amplitude modulation and pulse time modulation. This pulse time modulation is in turn divided into two types. Pulse position modulation and the pulse width modulation. In this video, we are going to discuss about the modulation techniques of pulse amplitude modulation. Pulse amplitude modulation. What is modulation basically? Modulation is the varying of the parameters of a carrier signal in accordance with the baseband signal. This is modulation. Whereas in pulse amplitude modulation, the carrier signal is a series of pulse strain. And the amplitude of each and every pulse of this carrier signal is varied in accordance with the instantaneous amplitude of the baseband signal. This is basically the idea of pulse amplitude modulation. Pulse amplitude modulation can be achieved by two techniques by natural sampling and flat top sampling. So as we all know sampling can only be achieved when a specific condition is satisfied. Fc is greater than or equal to 2 fm. This is the Nyquist criteria. So when it comes to the natural sampling the carrier signal Fc of t and the baseband signal f of t are made to pass through a multiplier circuit which gives a multiplication of these two circuit signals and this gives us the required PAM signal. The graphical representation will be as follows. This is the graphical representation of the natural sampling system. Here, this is the F of T, the required baseband signal and this is the required carrier signal, the series of pulse strains, FC of T. The multiplication of these two signals with one another gives us the PAM, the pulse amplitude modulation signal which looks as follows. As we can see from the graphical representation, as to, although it follows the same time period, sampling time period TS, the, in the very same time period, the instantaneous amplitude of each and every pulse is continuously varying, which makes it very difficult to retrieve the baseband signal after the demodulation of this signal. So to overcome this disadvantage, we go for the flat top sampling. To overcome the disadvantages due to the natural sampling, we go for the flat top sampling. In the flat top sampling, the baseband signal is made to pass through a simple sample and holding circuit, which is essentially a switch and a capacitor. When the baseband signal is impulsed and is fed to the input part, the capacitor gets charged and when the switch is made to flip to the output part of the circuit, the capacitor starts to discharge and it results in a constant amplitude pulse. The graphical representation of this flat top sampling will be as follows. First, the impulsed baseband signal Fs of T is given to the capacitor and the modulated baseband signal is as follows. This is the circuit and this is the flat top sampling.